Finals is quickly approaching, and no, Kevin and I aren't rooting for one team over yeah. the other or we going to homecoming this. after this. <laughs> we just have great chemistry. Yes. Uh, we'll tell you who needs to have a breakout scoring game. Is it Kyrie Irving or Jason Tatum? And the NBA Countdown crew is going to join us as well, plus a check-in at Jets Camp without Aaron Rodgers and some U.S. Open picks from Pinehurst. Plus, we're tracking the latest on Chris Stapp's Porzingis' availability for tonight's game, a live report. Also, what his potential absence could mean for the Mavericks. With the Celtics and Panthers both up 2-0 in their respective finals, final, Boston and South Florida riding high. But there's another city feeling pretty good these days. St. Louis, what? Specifically, Chaminade College Prep, the school where it all began for a pair of basketball and hockey stars. Coley Harvey has more in tonight's Sports Center report. Welcome back to Sports Center. You know, Mavs rookie Derek Lively had to endure more than most as a young child. At age seven, Derek lost his father to a drug overdose, and nearly two years later, after it was just him and his mother, they endured another battle. This time it was cancer. As Derek steps on the court tonight with his teammates for game three of the NBA Finals, he has to deal with recently saying goodbye to his biggest supporter in life, his superhero, his best friend, his mother, Kathy Drysdale. Here's Malika Andrews with more. 